In today's video, we are going to demonstrate how to assemble a 6S2P LTO battery bank. You can also use this information to assemble any 6S bank with more cells or even a 1S bank. Let's not waste any time and get right to it. First, verify that the buzzing you will be using includes seven pieces. This should have two end bars and five mid bars. The end bars will be your primary positive and negative poles and where you will bolt down your connections after completed. Once you've identified your end bars, take your first cell and use the included nut, which in this case, M12 by 1.75, to secure the cell into one of the end bar slots. Next, making sure that the polarity matches, positive and positive or negative and negative, do the same for your second cell. It is absolutely critical you do not have the cells reversed for any of these steps. If you do reverse the cells, you will be causing a short in the very near future, which will cause sparks to begin flying and potentially damage the cell. Worst case, you could even cause a fire by being careless. Once both cells are secure, it's time to grab one of the mid plates. Here, you'll want to line it up so the studs of both cells slide into place and afterwards secure them with the nuts. Make sure not to over tighten these. While M12 studs are very solid, they're not impossible to strip with enough torque. This next step is the second S in your 6S bank. For these two cells, the polarity should be the opposite of the cells they are connecting to. In our case, we have the positive polarity from the first couple of cells connecting with the negative poles of the second two cells. Once the cells are in place, follow the previous steps to connect them securely. What you have assembled up to this point should look similar to this. Since we started with the negative pole, our setup is currently negative, positive, negative, positive. It's now time for the next mid bar. Secure your next mid bar into place. If your bus bars have pre-drilled holes for balancer leads, you should be mindful that they're in a position where you will be able to easily secure this wiring in the future. Notice here the spots for the balancer will be in a difficult position. We are going to attach our next mid bar following the previous steps, then fix this so that we have uniform buzzing with properly positioned balance positions. At this point, the assembly consists largely of following the previous steps and repeating. You can reference the displayed diagram to see where we currently are in the video tutorial.
The final piece of your 6S bank will be to attach the second end bar. In our example, this will be our positive polarity input output. That's it. Your bank is now completed. I recommend grabbing a multimeter and testing your overall voltage. The total voltage should be the sum of each series connection. Once you're familiar with this process, it becomes very easy to quickly assemble banks of just about any series or parallel combinations. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section, and be sure to check out our next upcoming video on how to connect a 6S balancer to the battery we have just created.